If you want to make one of the videos in your Zoom meeting full screen for yourself, then click on pin right here. This is now going to fill my screen, but it has no impact on what any of the other participants see. If instead you do want to have that impact, then remove the pin, go back into gallery view, click on the menu one more time, and then click on spotlight for everybody. This has now gone almost full screen for all of the participants who are in this meeting. I say almost full screen because I can still see the videos of the other participants along the top of my screen. To change this, I can go into view and then click on full screen. Now the videos of the other participants can be shown right here on the right hand side. I can control the layout. This has all of them. This one has only my own video and then I can click on the minus button right there to hide all of the other videos. I'm going to exit full screen by pressing the escape key on my keyboard. To go back, I will remove the spotlight. This will now default into speaker view and then I'm going to go back into gallery view. The most common way that people go full screen on Zoom is by sharing content. I'm going to click on share screen and then I'm going to pick this PowerPoint presentation that I have running and then click on share. If I want to see the other participants' videos, I can click on the mini gallery right there and then move it up like so. So now that I'm sharing my PowerPoint, this is going to be full screen for all my participants. But what if they don't want that? Let me demonstrate on the laptop. Here on the laptop computer, the presentation from the desktop is filling up almost the entire screen. But if we don't like that, we can easily change it. Go to the view menu at the top and then select Swap Video and Shared Screen. This will now make the video from my desktop computer appear almost full screen on my laptop, even though I am currently sharing content from my desktop. And of course, if I do want to make this genuinely full screen, I can click on View and select full screen right there. Now this fills up the video from my desktop right here on my laptop screen. To go back to the shared content, I can click on view and once again, select swap. And now the PowerPoint presentation from my desktop computer is once again, full screen on my laptop. Here are two more things that you can do to look amazing in your next video call. Number one, download my free video conferencing checklist. Just go to marcuspresents.com slash checklist or use the link in the video description. Number two, click or tap the screen right here. In that playlist, I have collected my best video conferencing tips that will help you stand out in your next video call. Thanks for watching.